Hey everyone, Rob J here, and today I'm going to be trying something different. Once a week, I'm going to do an indie game highlight of the games I've recently played and what I really like about them. So today's indie game highlight is going to be about the alpha demo of Runic Legacy of Sin. Runic is an action-packed metroidvania currently being developed for PC and hopefully PS4 soon. The game aims to bring a fresh new feel to the classic genre with the adaptation of RPG elements and a unique combo-centric combat system. And the game is currently being developed by Alex Kuzmanovic Games. Now, what drew me into the game was the awesome pixel art, which kind of reminds me of Castlevania a bit, with the dark environment and malicious enemies. As I was playing the game, I couldn't help but notice the fluid animations the main character gets and the enemies. Their attacks and death animations all look amazing. And oh yeah, did I die a lot in this demo. The basic combo looks cool, but nothing is more rewarding than landing a heavy attack. Well, actually, knocking back a projectile in an enemy's face is kind of rewarding as well. Now, as far as I know, there were only two heavy attacks. One is where it bursted right in front of you, and the other one was like a little cool shockwave. Needless to say, I like them both. He also had a really cool evasive move, which could tie in with the basic attacks or with the heavy attacks. The boss battle was a lot of fun and contributed to most of my deaths at the end of the demo. The introduction to the boss was short and sweet, the attack pattern was easy to understand, but difficult for me to be consistent with dodging those homing orbs. But I eventually got it and killed that boss. So rewarding. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my first episode of Indie Game Highlight. If you have any questions about the game, comment below. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. I'm Rob J. Thank you for entering the Nova, and until next time, keep supporting indie games.